I just want to discuss this August 30, uh, 31st deadline. Uh, the United States and their allies are now discussing whether they can stay beyond that deadline to evacuate everyone from, from the air, uh, airport. The Taliban has said that's a red line. Can you help us understand the situation? Yes. Uh, uh, on the basis of the Doha agreement, uh, the Americans had uh, committed uh, that they will withdraw uh, by uh, May uh, 1st, but they were violated uh, that uh, deadline. Uh, now they uh, again uh, announced that they will withdraw completely from Afghanistan on 31st August. Uh, I think they should withdraw from Afghanistan uh, and uh, leave the little Afghan people uh, start a new chapter of peace and reconstruction. And this is not a convincing uh, justification if they say there are a lot of uh, Afghans who are working with uh, foreign troops uh, and they are still there, they have not been evacuated. There is an option open for them. Uh, we are not creating any hurdles in their way if they have uh, passports and the visas are uh, issued by uh, the U.S. to them, they can go to commercial flights anytime uh, they want uh, to go. That is uh, their the right. Uh, we will, of course, we want them to stay in Afghanistan and participate in the construction of the country, and there is no risk uh, to their life and pro property. But still, if they are intending to go, they can uh, with uh, uh, having the proper documents. Uh, the Taliban has said that if the U.S. decides to leave uh, beyond the 31st of August, there will be consequences. What kind of consequences are you talking about? If they uh, uh, extend behind the uh, 31st August, uh, that is a clear violation, one thing. Secondly, about consequences, it is up to our leadership what, how to proceed and how, what kind of decision they, they take. That decision will be implemented.